Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to take these two lines here, the system of equations, and we have to solve it by graphing. So finding the point of intersection, and then whatever answer we get on the graph, we're going to check algebraically as well. So let's start off with this first line. We've got y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 3. So notice it's already in the y equals mx plus b form. So notice the slope is negative 5 over 4. So it's going to be a downward snow, uh, sloping line. And then notice that the b value is 3. So that's the y-intercept. So if we draw this on a graph, let's try to keep it to scale. Uh, so we'll have 1, 2, 3. So we're starting at 0 and 3. And then let's draw maybe another point. So what we're going to do is uh, go down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So from 3, we're going to negative 2. And then we're going to run by 4 units. So from 0, from this x value of 0, we're going to run 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So then another point is over here, which is 4 and negative 2. Right, so if we draw this line, looks something like that. Let's maybe get rid of this. And we'll see, maybe we'll need to get some other points as well. We'll see what other points we get from this line over here, 3 over 4x minus 5. So notice that the b value is minus 5, so we'll have minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So we're starting here, and notice that this is a positive slope. So we're going to rise by 3. So from negative 5, if we rise 3, we get to negative 2. And then we're going to run by 4. So notice we end up getting that same point right there. So in this case, it worked out pretty nice. That first point, that first other point that we uh, graphed with the first line ended up being the first point that we graphed or the um, first point after the y-intercept that we graphed on the second line. Right, so the answer is 4 and negative 2. That's where these two lines are going to intersect. Now, what if we were to check this answer algebraically? Different ways we can do this. What I'm going to do is do substitution. So for this y value, I'm going to plug in this expression. So we would end up having 3 over 4x minus 5 equals negative 5 over 4x plus 3. So I'm going to bring all the x values to one side. So this negative 5 over 4. I'm going to bring over, so it'd be positive 5 over 4x, and this negative 5 I'm going to bring over to the other side, so we'll have 3 plus 5. So this would end up being 8 over 4x equals 8. Notice the 8 over 4, that's 2. Divide both sides by 2, x is 4. And then I could take that x value of 4, plug it into either one of these, and we should get that corresponding y value of negative 2. Notice that we would. So if I take an x value of 4, plug it into the first line. Notice the 4s would cancel out. We'd end up with negative 5 plus 3, which would give us negative 2. And then if I take that x value of 4, if I plug it into the second line, we don't have to plug it into both. We just plug it into one of them. Notice here the force cancel out, right? 3 over 4 times 4 ends up just being 3, or they cancel out. We're left with 3. 3 minus 5 gives us negative 2. So whichever one we plug it into, we get that corresponding y value of negative 2 as expected, and we got that x value of 4. So we showed it graphically, and we showed it algebraically.